Hi guys, we're in a bit close here so you can't really see what's going on but we'll look at the detail first and then we'll go back a bit so you can see what happens. Playing with magnets again and a nice simple little electric circuit which you can't see because it's right in front of you here. It's a 555 timer, very simple circuit, plenty of them on the internet. Um, over here we've got that broken relay coil that I salvaged the other day. Well, quite a while ago now, come to think of it. Here we've got a steel ball on one of those executive toys, the swinging cradle. I've got all the other balls held out the way at the moment. And there's also a small magnet sitting on that ball. So when I turn the power on, the timer will pulse the relay coil and that will attract the magnet or the steel ball. So I'll put the power on. There we go. I haven't actually adjusted the circuit timing quite right yet so you'll see it speeds up and slows down. Even comes to a complete standstill and then goes again sometimes. I've even got an LED in the circuit here. It does reduce the power a bit, but if I just take this link out, there you go, you should be able to see the LED flashing away as well. So there we are, another simple magnet toy, or another one of my executive toys that I've automated. What I will do is I'll let the rest of the balls go free and you can see it operate. I think there's yeah there's five balls there. Make a bit of a mess as I do it. But I might be able to sort it out. The idea is they should be swinging free, but with the magnet there obviously they group together. really difficult to make them stand still. Let's unplug the circuit again for a second. That's pretty well steady. Power on. So what I really need to do is trim got a little trim pot here or potentiometer so I could adjust the timing to suit the swing. Spent a few minutes tuning it, adjusting the flash rate and now I've got all five balls swinging quite nicely. I think that'll do for tonight.